Sixers internet, what's up? So glad you're here for an epic guest episode. The returning, the re-return of Dale McPeak on the show here today. We're headed to Owen and Engine up in Bucktown. And I was pitched this as we might be the first ever takeout order at Owen and Engine. Because so. they don't do traditionally takeout. Dale's got the hookup. So some fully loaded burgers. Very, very excited you guys do are you here. you also want to do the, the shout out because this is traffic's a nightmare? Yes. Also on Patreon right now, for all of our Patreon members, we put up a poll of which of our old t-shirt designs you want us to bring back for a two week span so the Patreon members can buy it and snag it and own it. So go vote on that right now. That pulls up. Very excited to see what you guys choose. Uh, let's take the expressway up to meet up with Dale. The legend Dale McPeak in the oh. back seat. But first, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, so let's see what we got. So, the this is like the deluxe one. We got egg on this bad boy. You can also see that there's bacon up on here. And then we've got uh, caramelized onion, house potato bop. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, maybe that's this bacon look and stuff. Chips, malt vinegar mayonnaise, and then that's all she wrote. And we got this wonderful bun. I don't know much about English cuisine. You get like an extra piece of bread, too. Yeah, wait. Wait, oh, you gotta put the burger on the You bun. gotta oh, put the burger together. Yeah, literally. Cool. Well, normally, I think it's too big to do in the box. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. already assembled. I see. Wow, this is a juicy boy. Jeez. This is a big ass burger, dude. Picked a bad day to wear a white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this, this yoke. is massive. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you yoked. All right, own an engine. Thank you so much for doing yeah, this. Dale McPink. Cheers. Look out for the album. Oh my god. Oh my mm. god, that is so good. That first bite is aggressive. Right as I bust him. Oh my god. What a different kind of burger, huh? Bro. Unlike anything I've ever had. This meat, this bacon stuff, is so good. The bop. Oh my god. Dude, this is my first time. All of, is this all of our first time having it? Yeah. This is so good. I've heard people in the streets talk about Own an Engine like it's one of the greats. For years. Mm -hmm. Once again, huge shout out to Own an Engine for letting us. The only time they're ever going to do it to go order. Dan with Pete hooked up. What's your friend's name? Tony Mata. The Tony Mata got it hooked up, and then we just are. So stoked, because we've been wanting to do this for a very, very long Arden time. and Bo are the owners. They they run this great place. Uh, this is the only time they're going to do a to-go order, so don't. Don't try it, boys. Don't try it. But definitely go in and snag this. It's unreal. Wow. The car like, those caramelized onions, but this great beef. And then, I, you know I love a sunny side up. Me too. I messed with that. on a burger, man. Even for the car, I'm somehow keeping it together a little bit. And this yeah. is the first time I've ever said this. The vinegar taste brings it together. Whoa! I never fry. like vinegar, but this is actually really good on this for some reason. Yeah, I'm not a vinegar guy either. This is perfect. The Brits really like to use that uh, that table vinegar. Really? That darker one, what do they call it? Malt vinegar, maybe? They love that. If you guys don't remember, Old Daily Boy, great C episode. Go look it up if you haven't watched it. Look this is... This guy, bro. Oh, that's a beast. This has got to be like... They fry this as its own thing and then stick the bone back in or something. How are they doing this? I, I don't know. Best wings in Chicago, not Chris. <laughs> yeah, he, I tell you, like, we argue about this all the time. They're, they are really good though. Yeah, he's an amazing comedian. He's one of my favorite people in the whole freaking city. And he's got an album that it comes out the week we're filming, right? Like it'll, July 15th. It'll already be out when this video comes out. Nice. You need to go get it. What's it called again? My Mother's Son. And check. I'm gonna put the uh, album cover on screen. It's an all-time great album cover. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's perfect. Uh, when where can they get it from? Get it on iTunes, Amazon, and all the streaming places except for Spotify because there's a big lawsuit going on. <laughs> <laughs> can I steal it on Kazaa? Oh yeah. Number Kazaa. <laughs> That's where I would have stole it if I was 16. Coming out through uh, the last button on 800-pound gorilla label. 
Is 800 pound gorilla Bobby Kelly's? The laugh button. The laugh part. button. Yeah. Okay. I met him. I did one show with him, or a couple shows with him, and then he like let me do this album. I keep hearing about people in the Chicago community talking about how nice of a dude that is. He's oh, really? Best. That's great. Isn't that awesome? That's and a he, good thing to be known for in the comedy world. And he's been doing a lot of like, especially for Chicago comedians. I know I can think off the top of my head like three or four cats that he's like helped out and been awesome with. Is that like an Aaron Putnam friend? Yeah. I've talked with Aaron about him a bunch, and he just seems like a nice dude. Do you know who we were talking no, about? No, I do not. Bring him up on your phone. He used to be in Louis C.K.'s show. Oh, Recognize okay, Robert him. Kelly. Yeah, you know yeah, that face. Yeah, of course. You know that face. Oh I'll my put the God. Face. You guys are seeing it on the screen right now. Yeah. yeah. If you're a fan of comedy, I'm sure you know this dude's face. Put Absolutely. Up, put up one of the younger ones where he's slim. Dude, he, had, he, he was a hottie for a minute. That's great, dude. I mean, all good things. Had a couple roles on the Grand Theft Auto games. <laughs> I mean, much more uh, oh, better did? stuff than that, but it's funny when you scroll down like somebody's IMDb. IMDb. Yeah. Dale, question for you. Yeah. I know you've opened for a couple really cool people. Yeah. One of those being obviously Louis C.K., maybe my favorite comedian of all time. Doug Stanhope's an argument there for me, too. Yeah. Uh, you've also got to hang out with Doug Stanhope, which pisses me off. Oh, yeah, I spent a week at his house. <laughs> and that, that makes me so mad. Wow. I'm with him and Michael Bean. I'm here to help you. I'm Reese, DN38416, assigned to protect you. You've been targeted for termination. He's John Connor's dad. Oh, Ooh. yeah, 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 okay. But did you, and I don't know if this officially happened, or if this is one of those things where uh, COVID dicked it all up, but did you did you get to open for Eminem or no? No. Oh, but you're supposed to? Yeah, everything's delayed or not happening. Well, that's mm, upsetting. Crazy. I was gonna ask who your favorite person to open for is, but now it's gotta. It's, it's definitely, I, I like, Bobby Kelly's a fun hang. Mm, I so bet. I, I prefer him. He's just like the best dude. He's fun, he fucking busts your chops in the car, you know? He's a bullshitter, he's a nice dude. He called me a fat musketeer. <laughs> <laughs> I heard one of the best uh, fat jokes this weekend about Dale. I look over D uh, Dale's shoulder, and he's got a picture of just him holding a gun, and I I'm just start dying laughing because he's trying to look like a gangster. Yeah. And Zach goes, who the fuck is that, John Thick? Oh, no, leave that in. Leave that in. <laughs> leave that in. I forgot about that. That made me laugh so hard. Oh my God. That's yeah. Zacho's best joke of 2022. Yeah. Dude, I went to a wedding a few months ago, and the lady was out there with, uh, what was it, like some meatballs on a tray, and everybody at the table would be like, got one? And I go, oh, can I get one? She's like, oh, you want another one? <laughs> Jesus. And I hadn't had one yet. <laughs> Wow. I hadn't had one yet, and she's assuming I did. And the w one guy at the table got two. She didn't say a word. <laughs> oh, you want another one? <laughs> Lady. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, I saw her behind the pizza truck smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and I told on her. <laughs> How about that? I told Drama. on her. You know what, this this actually kind of checks out because I know you're a big 6 9 fan, so ratting being a part of your life is, actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, I'll snitch on anybody, dude. I like a good snitch like in a scenario like that. Like, Everybody's like, oh yeah, but you don't know. Dude, you're going down. <laughs> I'm staying free, you're going down. I respect that attitude. Is this not the most filling burger you've ever had in your life? I'm I, like, I'm like already done. Dude, right? And you're not even halfway through, bro. It's insane. This is the thickest, and me, Sean, or our, our audience knows us, but me and Sean are way on the smash burger kick. Yeah. I love a smash burger. Every once in a while, I like a thicker burger, like if it's really good beef. I think this is the best thick burger I've had in the this, city. There's nothing sure. like this. I mean, this is like blowing yeah. my goddamn mind. I don't even know. This is one of the most unique flavors, too. Right, something about that vinegar. I've just never yeah, had anything like this. Yeah, I mean, like what this. is freaking going on with this thing? It's like a controlled messy. Yeah. I like that. I thought it was gonna be way messier. Mm-hmm. But my shirt's still white. Yeah, my, <laughs> so. I got a little stain action going. It might be titty sweat. No, that's a stain. That's probably bald. That's why they don't get you, let you get it to go. You gotta eat it there. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. It makes sense. The place has an upstairs too. It's beautiful inside. Is this really, was this an old, you might not know this. Is this an old firehouse? I have no idea. I think someone told me that many moons ago, but that could just be a lie. I'll spread it though. That's an old firehouse. Everyone would believe it. That was uh, like in 1884. That was an old Chicago firehouse. Yeah, man. That's the firehouse that put out the Chicago fire. <laughs> I'm definitely telling everybody that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to have a pint or seven in there, by the way. There is something about yeah, it looks a, like a drinking zone. Well, yeah, like a British pub like that. Like they're always wooded and very like welcoming mm -hmm. and chill. Yeah. And 
like where they get drunk in the show Ted Lasso, what I said in there. That's like what that reminds me of. Yeah. Do you have uh, some good clips that you could, or at least one good clip you could send me to throw in here? Yeah, dude, I have uh, I have a schedule of when uh, these clips go up. Oh, smart. They, no. They, they're they, they, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I did a video call with seven actual adults who go, we're your marketing team, your promotions team. And I go, all right, I'm in my mom's guest room with Olaf. <laughs> <That's so laughs> Thank you. you know? Yeah, I'm blown away by that. That was so fun. That was a fun meal. Dale, that joke of you talking about how porn makes you feel dumb. Oh, yeah. I told Corey today that I audibly, like almost dropped my phone from laughter. When I saw that clip pop up, crushed me. Thanks, man. How long, how long is that clip? That one's like, uh, I don't know, like 35 seconds. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe even oh, shorter. Perfect, That's bro. definitely great. Definitely yeah. send that Dude, one. Dude, it's so like, good. Just <laughs> place that it's in. on my Instagram. I gotta have them send me like the actual thing. For He's not at yeah. the end. It's in the middle of some French shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Crack me so up, dude. If you guys want to see that clip, I'm putting it at the end of this video. You're gonna have 35 seconds of glory from old Dale McPeak. And yeah. that's all he gives is 35 seconds of glory. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the Dale McPeak. Mr. McPeak, Mr. McPeak for 35 seconds. That's why they always leave me. All right, do you guys want to rate this burger? Yeah, is there anything that we, I feel like that was such a quick episode. Is there anything that we didn't promote that we should? I just got my album coming out. Uh, that's gonna be everywhere. My Instagram, real cute dude. Slide in my DMs, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real cute. That's dude. what this show really does. It gets people laid. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, should we um, rate it? All right. Yeah, we do this out of five. Uh, own an engine. I immediately thought of out of five Owen Wilson's noses. How okay. many Owen Wilson's noses oh, funny. do you give that big old thick boy loaded burger from O and E? Corey, you're first. Uh, that was really unreal. A couple things I love about it. A, the uniqueness. I have never had a burger that tasted like that, and it's kind of hard. We've had so many burgers on this channel. At some point, you kind of like, oh, okay, I know this genre, that genre, that. This is one of the more unique ones I've had. A must try in the city, and they're super awesome in there, which I obviously gotta give them some love for that. Uh, those caramelized onions, and that vinegar, bro, I don't even mess with vinegar, and that tasted yeah, really good. Really yeah, popped it off. It did, it like, it just brought it all together for whatever reason. Especially if you like thick burgers, that's just gotta be hands down the best thick burger in the city. It's pretty unreal. And you can eat that probably, split it in half and have it for two days. Yeah, it's ridiculous. seriously. Uh, I, I mean, just being the best at a thing in the city, I have to do it for the best big burger. I, you got, you're five, I gotta give you five. Unreal. All right, that's a five from Corey Dale. What's your score out of five? I'm going, I'm going with five, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I think, I think Corey said it perfectly that it's like it's the best in its own category. Yeah, don't Like blast. you can't put that against a Red Hot Ranch $6 burger. Like that's a go and sit and have a pint with a friend or a, a date or whatever and sit in there. I mean, of course I'm gonna do it. That's the best thick burger in the city. That's a five. A yeah. five Owen Wilson's noses. Love it, dude. Damn, that was great. Delicious. Delicious. Well, Oni, thanks for letting us do that. Truly amazing. It's a milestone for the channel, for Never Sister Cheese, and the fact that we have Dale in here as well. Uh, all the links for Dale's yes. album linked below. You don't have Get to do this it. guy to number one on iTunes. Like, please, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite human beings. Yeah, man. And I'm not just saying this to you. As a matter of fact, I don't want to say it because he's sitting right there, but I think he's one of the funniest people in the city. I'm obsessed with Dale. I love him. Please, please, please go get this album and check him out on Instagram. Real cute dude. Thanks. Yeah. Dale, thanks for doing this, man. Yeah, I love you, yeah, man. The, watch the owner of the, the owners of the restaurant look at my uh, my comedy and be like, we're promoting this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with any of this. <laughs> if you want to see what type of comedy it is, I'm telling you, I'm throwing a clip up at the end of this video. So stick around to get a little taste of what you're going to see in the album. Go get it. Is it only download? I was gonna ask you that earlier. I totally I'm gonna, forgot. I'm gonna make some copies to sell. Uh, Is it good? You're doing any vinyls by chance? Vinyls so backed up, right? I figured. I'm kind of like low key obsessed with getting comedy vinyls lately, so I was just curious. Yeah, we'll see if we can set that up down the road. But for now, it's just digital. Word. Okay. I have some uh, CDs made not, not too long. The fact that you almost said cassettes. Yeah. This is the trashiest thing about you, and I love it. Yeah, yeah. I would love a cassette of the album, personally. Yeah, some eight tracks, man. <laughs> yeah, right. you know. All right, guys, we'll yeah. see you tomorrow for a new episode. Thanks to Dale, and uh, guys, have a great rest of the day. Peace. Peace. I don't like pornography, though. It makes me feel dumb. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it does, man. Like you have been searching for porn. You realize you've been smelling amateur wrong your entire life. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>
There's no E at the end, it's in the middle? What the fuck? This shit looks French, I'm not horny no more. Get out of here. 